And more fallout tonight from Attorney General Mike DeWine's strong statements against three Planned Parenthood facilities in Ohio, including the one right here in Mount Auburn, the Cincinnati location. He's already making some business adjustments, they call it. WLWT News Vice Curtis Fuller joins us now live with the very latest tonight. Curtis. Well, Cherie, this local facility here in Mount Auburn has joined a federal lawsuit calling the AG's comments over the line, and their attorney says one key vendor has already ditched them. Yeah, they should read right into it that Mike DeWine scared him away. Yeah. A prominent civil rights attorney says Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine overstepped his boundaries. Because of DeWine, Al Gerarstein says the company that handled fetal tissue for the local Planned Parenthood bailed out on its contract. When the government goes on TV and takes a private vendor and, and talks about him as if there's some sort of evil incarnate, they're going to scare him away, and I bet he, he intended that. The Cincinnati office is one of three facilities around the state targeted in an investigation by DeWine's office. Planned Parenthood in Cincinnati used AccuMedical Waste Incorporated of Marietta, Ohio, as its disposal company. The attorney general called the disposal process inhumane because it was sent to a landfill in Kentucky. But DeWine says the violator is Planned Parenthood. We would seek the injunction against the facility that performed the abortion. The buck stops with them. This isn't pleasant stuff, but it is an important matter to resolve in a calm way. So yes, Planned Parenthood had their vendor scared away. We got another one. We hope that one sticks. Well, legislation is already w making its way through the state capitol. In fact, Senate Bill 254 sets standards, new standards, in terms of the disposal of remains that would include cremation or burial. This is similar to laws in California and Delaware. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. All right, Curtis, thank you. The federal lawsuit uh, Curtis mentioned there is now set to appear in court. That will happen January uh, 4th. That federal lawsuit will happen.